Triple H has addressed the absence of Brock Lesnar. We have the latest on AEW's decision to release the CCTV footage of the brawl between CM Punk and Jack Perry. And is this former WWE champion set to leave the company? But first, be sure to subscribe. We have notifications turned on so you don't miss the latest pro wrestling news. And let's start by running through a quick recap of the results from night one of WrestleMania. We're now halfway through this year's WrestleMania 40 event with Night 1 now officially in the history books. But who came out on top in their respective matches and will tonight's undisputed Universal Championship bout be fought under bloodline rules? The first match of the night would see Rhea Ripley defend her WWE Women's World title against Becky Lynch, with Mummy walking away as still champion by the end of things. The show would also see the undisputed tag team titles hanging above the ring for the six-pack ladder match, although the belts would be split amongst two teams. Firstly, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory would manage to take down the SmackDown straps, with the match ending when R-Truth unclipped the Raw belts on behalf of himself and The Miz, marking Truth's first ever WrestleMania victory. Rey Mysterio and Andrade would then overcome the challenge of Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar, this before Jey Uso defeated his twin brother Jimmy Uso in yet another family versus family bout. Bianca Belair, Naomi Naomi and Jade Cargill would then team up to beat Damage Control's Dakota Kai, Asuka and Kairi Sane, with this being Cargill's second ever WWE match. Sami Zayn would then bring Gunther's 666 day reign as Intercontinental Champion to an end with a pinfall win over the Austrian, showing how powerful a moment it can be when a long time champion is defeated if booked correctly. The card would then roll into the main event with Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins teaming up against the Bloodline. Roman Reigns and The Rock. If Cody and Seth were able to get the win, tonight's undisputed Universal title match between Roman and Rhodes would be fought without interference from the bloodline. However, a rock bottom and people's elbow was enough to put the American Nightmare down, meaning tonight's main event will take place under bloodline rules, meaning anything goes. This booking now positions Cody as a major underdog for the match with Reigns, although maybe Rhodes has some backup to even the odds on the night. Maybe even somebody we can't see, or a certain rattlesnake. And next up, a major WWE signing has been confirmed. During WrestleMania week, WWE would hold the WWE World events, which features various convention-style booths, live shows, and much more, with there being two notable non-WWE names in attendance. On Friday, fans would spot former Stardom president Rossi Agawa and former World of Stardom champion Julia at the event, this after both of their recent departures from the all-female Japanese promotion. This would naturally lead to speculation that Julia had signed with WWE, this after reports of talks between the two sides over the past few months, and it seems that a deal is now done. Julia would be shown on camera in attendance in the audience at last night's NXT Stand and Deliver event alongside Agawa and William Regal, all but confirming an agreement had been reached, although commentary on the broadcast didn't confirm as much. Prior to the show, Fightful Select's Corey Brennan would reveal the nature of Julia's appearances on the week end, revealing that she will now join the Performance Center and NXT when she finishes the rest of her agreed dates with Rossi Agawa's new promotion, and Corey would note. Fightful Select's Corey Brennan has been told by multiple NXT sources that Julia will be reporting to the WWE Performance Center and NXT upon the completion of her remaining dates, with an immediate main roster debut ruled out. While not an issue by any means, officials are said to be happy at Julia's recent progression in learning English. The report would also dismiss internet rumours of WWE feeling Julia is too stiff in the ring to fit their style, something that was dismissed by multiple sources within the company. We now await the announcement of the former Stardom president's new promotion, where WWE's newest signing will appear for a short time before checking in at the Performance Center in Orlando. Next up, Triple H has addressed the absence of Brock Lesnar. Ever since the Vince McMahon lawsuit was filed by Janelle Grant, we have yet to see Brock Brock Lesnar returned to WWE television with the sex trafficking suit appearing to make reference to the former UFC heavyweight champion, something that Wall Street Journal sources have confirmed is Lesnar. Fightful Select would later confirm that plans for a Royal Rumble return and WrestleMania match with Gunther were scrapped, with the Beast Incarnate also finding himself removed from the roster of the 
WWE 2K24 video game, with there also being no footage of him during the video package, led Paul Heyman's induction into this year's Hall of Fame class. Following last night's WrestleMania 14 Night 1 event, Triple H would appear in front of the media to answer questions, where he was asked for an update on Lesnar and if he was still under contract with the promotion. Hunter would confirm that Brock is still with WWE, although for now he remains at home and he would say, there at one point was a conversation with Brock about Royal Rumble quite a long time ago. Right now, Brock is at home being Brock, and we'll see where that leads to from here. His status is the same as it has been before. Brock is not gone from WWE, he's just at home being Brock. It's worth noting that the reporter asking the question didn't mention Brock's removal from the WWE 2K video game, nor his omission from the Paul Heyman Hall of Fame video, leaving Triple H room to avoid any direct mention of the controversy surrounding the Beast. For now, the CCO has confirmed reports of talks with Lesnar over a return at the Rumble, and we now know he is still under WWE contract, though we're no closer to hearing anything regarding his removal from the multiple WWE properties. And now let's go to the latest on AEW's decision to release the CCTV footage of the brawl between CM Punk and Jack Perry. Earlier today, we released a video going into full details on the news that the Young Bucks will present backstage footage from AEW All in London. Fightful and the Wrestling Observer would then confirm that this is in reference to footage of the backstage fight between Jack Perry and CM Punk, the incident that was the final nail in the coffin of the Second City Saints time in the company with the move being in response to Punk's recent interview with Ariel Helwani. But if outlets were able to confirm that this is not a bait and switch scenario and that the expectation is that the video will be shown, this being the tape that ultimately led to the AEW disciplinary committee unanimously agreeing that a termination with cause was the right call to make. As I say, I have a whole video covering the full details, so be sure to go and check that out after this one. But for now, let's go into the latest on the situation. The Young Bucks have since taken to X to refer to the upcoming segment, simply writing roll the tape, seemingly confirming that they are confident ahead of the grand reveal. And speaking of the reveal, Dave Meltzer would take to Wrestling Observer Live to discuss Tony Khan's feelings on Punk's recent interview on the MMA Hour, with this leading to Khan doing something he wanted to do for quite a while, and Dave would say, Tony Khan was very upset about CM Punk's MMA Hour interview, and apparently I was told that he wanted to air this backstage all-in footage a long time ago, and for whatever reason, he did not. And now, I guess because of the timing and the interview and what CM Punk said, he is going to air it. Meltzer would then reiterate that the legit footage from the CCTV will be shown and said, I've got it 100% confirmed. After Punk did the interview, I contacted many, many people, and the general thing was, we are moving past this, we don't want to deal with it, we got to move forward, and yet, here we are. Tony's the boss. Tony never said that. What do you make of the situation? Should Tony Khan have rose above CM Punk's interview and got on with business as usual, or is he in the right to respond to claims that he feels are untrue? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next up is this former WWE Champion set to leave the company. WrestleMania continues tonight with part two of the event where many more matches are scheduled to take place. One of those bouts will see the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line when Seth Rollins puts his belt on the line against Drew McIntyre. We have both men's foe CM Punk watching over on commentary, with Mr. Money in the Bank Damian Priest also likely to have a keen eye on the occasion. With that said, both Seth and Drew have contracts that are coming close to an end, with neither man agreeing to new terms with WWE as of this recording, a story McIntyre is seemingly embracing during the build to the match. Speaking at a panel during the WWE World Convention last night, Drew would state that if he loses tonight's match, he's going to leave WWE, and Drew would say, I'll play this game, what if? It's not going to happen, but what if? I've been in the business since I was 15 years old. It's all I've ever wanted to do. It was a part-time job in high school, through university. I've always been a professional wrestler. I was signed to WWE at 21, fired at 29, truly found myself, came back, became the man and the superstar I am today. I've never been better. I'm in my prime in the ring, in my prime on the microphone, because I'm myself. Social media, nobody can touch me. I'll tear you to shreds. I've never been better all around. If I can't win against Seth Rollins on Sunday, quite frankly, I shouldn't be in this industry. I'll leave WWE. 
But what do you make of Drew McIntyre's comments? And do you think his time with WWE could be coming to an end? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.